everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video I thought about sharing with you all a cook with me I'm gonna be making Italian sausage and zucchini noodles and um, alfredo sauce with that so I'm not on a diet or anything but I am trying to eat better and I am being more cautious of what how much I eat and what I eat so I just figured you know why not share with you all me coming out of coming out of the gym, coming off work, and at home now, um, and I'm going to be cooking. So let's get into it. So I figured, you know, today's Wednesday, and I really didn't have a video for today, and I wasn't planning on uploading, but I'm like, you know what? I really do want to try to upload as often as I can daily. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you see me turning around, I'm just throwing away... And I trash the wrappings of the Italian sausage and we're gonna get into cooking. I should have probably warmed my pot up but that's okay. And I'm gonna try to make this as fast as I can so that way you all um, won't be watching me do a video for 25 minutes because that's not enjoyable for anybody so I'm going to, or I don't know if you guys will like seeing something like that, but I'm just going to try to do it as short of a video as I can. I might be editing some bits and pieces, so bear with me. But we're going to do our Italian sausage with Alfredo sauce and zucchini noodles. And I'm really excited to try this out. I've tried the zucchini noodles. I'm in love with zucchini noodles. I don't know if you guys love zucchini noodles, but I know I do. So it's a lot better than I feel like than pasta. I love pasta. I love Italian food. And I feel like this is my way of still being able to enjoy pasta and well, enjoy like Italian food. So that's my way of still enjoying it is the fact that I'm able to really like incorporate and substitute instead of pasta noodles like I can do zucchini noodles and um, instead of um, it being so much more calories with pasta it's going to be like almost like is it, honestly zucchini noodles they don't have many calories and they're still to me it tastes like spaghetti and still very delicious so that's what we're gonna do today sorry for the sounds it's getting stuck on my spatula but yeah i hope that you all had a good day today like how was your day i know that you guys can't really interact with me but definitely leave in the comment section below how was your wednesday did you have a smooth day was it a very um difficult day for you i'm gonna be out of frame right now just because i'm actually grabbing my oil that's the top of my can okay I'll do that because the meat's going to take a lot longer to cook than the zucchini noodles. The zucchini noodles, to me, when I make them and how I make them, I like to spiralize them. I have this hand spiralizer. And actually, I didn't grab that, so I probably should grab that as well. But I try to make the meat first because I know that's going to take longest, and I know that kind of makes sense. But, you know, I'm still going to let you guys know. And then after I do the Italian sausage, I'm going to be um, doing the zucchini noodles, maybe halfway. That way they can start to get done, spiralizing them and everything. I didn't prepare that already, but I'll be doing that. And then I'll just combine the meat with Alfredo sauce once it's done and season it if I have to at the end. I know I can season the meat, which sometimes I do that as well, but I may or may not do that. I'm not really sure. Italian sausage is already pretty seasoned, so I don't normally. It's mild, too, so it's pretty spicy as well. 
sometimes. It depends on, I guess, who makes it and how they package it and stuff. But sometimes I feel like the meat can be a little bit spicy. But we're only doing a packet today since it's just me cooking it. And um, my husband may or may not eat it, but I know he really wanted spaghetti. It's my battery is dying. He really wanted some spaghetti, like actual spaghetti, and I wanted zucchini noodles, so... Yeah, we'll see if he tries it. I don't know. When he's off work, he just went into work right now. So it was just really me at home by myself. Okay. I'm just going to let that cook. I'm going to grab a top for that. I think sometimes having a top makes the cooking time go by faster. I'm just gonna cook the meat. I guess while I'm waiting for that to happen, I could be spiralizing the noodles now. It would make more sense, right? So I'm about to start spiralizing the noodles, which I won't capture on video, but I will show you the spiralizer in a minute. Okay, so I got the zucchini noodle and the spiralizer. This is the handheld spiralizer. And it's pretty much a good workout, to be honest. So I just kind of, I already washed it, so don't worry. I spiralize it over here. Actually, because I like to spiralize it with the peel on it. I know some people don't, but I think it kind of gives it this, like, crunchiness. So if you can see, this is it. And I kind of have to cut the zucchini noodles off because if not, they'll be really long. But that's okay. I like doing that. Cutting them off a bit, making them a little bit shorter. And I'm going to do three whole zucchini noodles, so I'm going to spiralize all three of those. So... Right now, I'm just going to spiralize them, and I'll get back to you all in a few minutes. Alright, everybody. Hi. So, while you guys were kind of paused and gone, what I did was I took the meat and I put it in a sifter so that way the oil can be removed. And now it's sitting off on the side on a burner that's off and now i'm doing the zucchini noodles i like them to be a little bit crispy and crunchy so that's why i kept the peel on and i cook them for maybe like two or three minutes because then they start to really get very watery and um they start to get very mushy so not as i'm trying to think of the word very mushy not as crispy is how I like them so I don't like them raw but I do like a little bit of crunch and I will cook them but I don't like to cook them too much because then they end up getting really mushy so I, they've been on the stove for a couple of minutes now and we're just going to take the pot and dump the pasta into the sifter and get all that water off and then put the alfredo sauce open the cans up put it in here and the italian sausage let it um on the stove for maybe one or two minutes and it should be done so i'm gonna take it you guys are not gonna see me do this but And then now we're just going to take the Alfredo sauce and open it. And I made three whole zucchinis. So this is what I made. And we're going to incorporate the Alfredo sauce. We're going to dump it in there. I think I'm just going to do a can because it wasn't that much zucchini noodles. Normally I'll do like six zucchinis today was just three and that's that and then we'll do the put in the meat 
Okay. Pan down in the stove. And we'll just mix, mix, mix. I think this is a pretty good alternative. Italian um, spaghetti noodles that you really want to have from like Olive Garden or something. Now you make them at home. Moment of truth, this is the end result. And this is how it looks. That's it. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good to me. And that's all, y'all. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe, comment down below. Uh, how was your day? And until next time, y'all. Bye.